starting with initiative 20 is a layer action. Did you guys miss these? <laughs> no. Layer action. Let's see. Maybe. Are they on our side this time? They are not. Avery. Well, then I didn't miss them. Make a dexterity <laughs> save, Avery. I would rather not. <laughs> I'm afraid you don't have a choice, Professor Locke. Uh, grand smack two. 22. A 22. Oh. Is it a natty 20? A natty 20? Natty 20. Oh my yeah. gosh. Uh, yeah, you see this, uh, you see this sort of crystal crackle in the corner of the room. And it shoots a, a bolt of aether fire down at your feet, and you're able to deftly dodge out of the way. <laughs> Very nicely done. Um, up next is Apothecary. Apothecary is going to hold her action to see what happens in this combat. She's going to sort of slink behind the lines and sort of watch as things unfold. Which brings us to Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what would you like to do? You see, let me let me play out the battle for you. So we're again in this large open room. In this, the center of the room is the sepulcher. On one side of the sepulcher, on the far against the far wall is you. And on the other side of that room, opposite of that sepulcher, is a large stairwell. At the bottom of that stairwell is a knocked out general. Okay. Standing with one foot on top of that general is Lisey, who is sort of crackling with ethereal energy. And on either side of him is Bosco and Monsieur. All right, I made a quick sketch in MS Paint. I'm going to be referring to Okay. Um, and I'm uh, sorry, how far away did you say we are? The whole room is 30 feet. Uh, you're going to have, if you want to make, if you want to do a one-to-one line to get straight to them, you're going to have to make an acrobatics check to sort of vault the, uh, sepulcher. Gotcha, they are over the sepulcher. Okay, would I be able to make an athletics roll? I feel like this is more acrobatics. Okay. Um, yeah. Jeremiah has his new shield, has his new pitchy fork, and is ready to fucking go. So he's going to... Uh, I think he's going to focus on Bosco, because he's angry at Bosco for not being able to help for not being able to help that woman so acrobatics acrobatics I and vault over the sepulchre that would be a 17 total well yep yeah. uh with adrenaline and rage in your heart as your blood pumps furiously at the sight of bosco you run forward with a single hand you vault over the sepulchre and you land without missing a stride and step 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 right up to Bosco. As you can see, Bosco is towering. He's, he's roughly the same height as you, but he is uh, quite a big bul- bit bulkier with his heavy plate mail armor, and his breath smells of uh, crackling electricity as he is unfazed by your presence. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna attack him. Go ahead. Let's, let's go. Spear attack one. Uh, nope, that's gonna miss. That's an 11 total. Clinks off his plate, off his plate mail. Spear attack two. That's a twenty-one. That hits. Or was it spear attack two? Right. Because I am a level four fighter, and I get. Oh wait, hold on. No, extra attacks next level. Nope. Hold on, extra attacks next level. Sorry. So that's actually not the spear. That's the uh, sword. My two weapon fighting. Oh, sword. that's this is your your bone weapon, Sorry. huh? Yep, 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 yep. <gasps> Sorry, I forgot that I'm not level five. Um, yes. <laughs> so this is I the 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 uh, trident like scrapes off of his armor, and uh, at first I think like oh shit here it comes, and then I look down and I'm just like all right I got this now, and I just like jam it. <laughs> into him. Uh, you said this counts as a longsword, correct? Correct. It's a v- regular vanilla longsword. That I believe is one d six damage. Yeah. Eight. That will be not one if you're looking at one-handed. One d eight. 
I don't. No, think it's one d ten two handed. Is it? Yes. Uh, he would know, honestly. He's the. Okay. No, no, no. Great. Sorry, I I forgot all the stuff that I added to my equipment. Yeah. I had the long sword. Uh, so actually, that's even better. That'll be ten damage. Woo! Yes, Jeremiah, you. <laughs> You uh, scrape against him with your with your pitchy forky as it bounces off. You twirl around and you're able to find deep purchase within his thigh. As you pull it out, a trickle of red blood seeps down his leg as he stands on phase. Excellent. Um, do I want to use my action surge? I don't think I want to use that just yet. You'll have opportunities, I'm sure. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, yeah, I just ready myself to fight this bastard. Very nice. Good first round of combat, Jeremiah. Using a new blade. Yep, I'm feeling good about it. Up next is Rowan. Are ready to see what Rowan can do? Oh, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, Rowan uh, locks eyes uh, on the say, and he says... Get off of General! And he holds out his palm as you see a streak of green light and lightning crackle out of his hand in a large, long beam. Oh. Uh, but Lissay is able to bat it away as it deflects off into the ceiling, sort of making scorch marks all the way up. And you see Lissay returns with a, a, a wicked sneer. Um, and that is Avery next in initiative. Right, Avery is going to uh, join in with Jeremiah at shooting at the Bosque. Of course, taking careful aim. That is literally between two numbers. I didn't know D20s could do that. Reroll. All right, that's looking good. It is a 20. That hits, my friend. Oh, so he's your friend now. <laughs> uh, get him. Muscles could do, you don't know. All right, that's uh, gonna be 12 force damage. 12 force damage. Wow, you guys are really laying into Bosco. As you see, this one sort of staggers him back a little bit. But. Boom! <laughs> it is time. For Lassay. But what if it wasn't? Ooh, but what if it was? <laughs> uh, real quick, though, I want to take cover behind the Sepulchre if possible. Yeah, you, you aim your pistol, shot rings out, and you're able to duck down, getting full cover. Are you, are, are you like, uh, on your butt? No, just like, you know, drop to one knee. Yeah. Aim, take fire, drop down to one knee, you get half cover into that sepulcher. And, uh, let's say, uh, looks to you, Locke, and then looks to Rowan and says, why don't we make this uh, an even fight? And he holds up a little bit of uh, squirming ethereal energy, points at Rowan. Don't you dare, Alex. I will murder you. <laughs> and you see Rowan with a scream just <gasps> vanish before your eyes. Can I try? Is This isn't a damaging thing. Like, Can I try shielding him? Uh, this is not a damaging thing, no. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Okay. I don't think there was an attack roll. That was a saving throw. That, um, yeah. that, eight, that uh, Rowan missed. <gasps> Rowan! Oh my god. <clears throat> then, uh, you're going to see, let's say, sort of hands behind his back saunter up to the sepulchre and put his hand on it. And that is his turn. Desdemona. 
For a second there, I almost thought you were going to say, and that is where we leave out for tonight, and then I was going to leave it for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> okay. Remind me where everyone is in this room. Absolutely. Um, so actually, I, I miss Monsieur's initiative, so he's going to go at the end of the round. Um, that's just my mess up. Uh, so Monsieur and Bosco are back at the stairwell. Lassay is in the middle of the room at the, at oh, the sepulcher with his hand on I think there's a type of opportunity on him. Didn't you use your bonus action? Not a reaction, no, though. Reaction. It's oh, reaction. Oh, yeah, you can you can definitely take an attack of opportunity against yeah. Lassay. Sorry about that. That's right. Oh, yeah. That's a natural 19 plus 5, 24. Do damage, my guy. Let's do damage. My spear does less than my longsword. But five damage. Five damage? You, with five. your pitchy forky, scrape upwards, yep. and you sort of feel it bounce off against a sort of rippling energy. Ooh. Oh, interesting. As you feel like you're not exactly uh, getting purchased against his flesh. Okay. Now it is Desdemona's turn. Desdemona. So I'm guessing then Desdemona is somewhat a little bit behind where Avery probably is. Yeah, Avery ran um, up and he's taking half cover against the sepulcher. Right. And that is where Lissay has walked up to? Correct, Amundo. Lissay is now against the sepulcher, putting his hand on it. Okay. Um... Oh, buddy, we're going to try this out. Yeah. Um, Desdemona is going to... Um, she's just going to take a few steps back. Uh, maybe even... I don't know. Is she close enough just to the wall where she can just have her back up to the wall at least far enough away from this... from being up close and personal with anybody? Sure. You've got about five feet back to the wall. Great. Okay. That's fine. Um, she's just going to... Um, she's going to just drop to a knee really quick. Um, she's going to remove the necklace uh, from beneath the collar of her dress and um, bring it down to the board, and she's going to spell out um, another uh, word while muttering the um, arcane incantation. And um, the word that she is spelling out is crown, and she is casting crown of madness on yes. the side. Okay. Yeah. Well, I need to make a wisdom yeah. saving throw, correct? Yep. Let's see what my wisdom saving throw is on this guy. Uh, oh, just looking that up. You two, what are your ACs? So that I know for my shield spell. Let's see. Twelve! Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's say got a 14 in total. Oh! <laughs> 13 is um. my ACs. No. You see... Um, this, this sort of crown of, of uh, this roughly made crown of wrought iron sort of begin to form around Lassay's head piece by piece um, before eventually just clattering and falling to the ground as Lassay looks to you and, and, and gives you a sneer. It's all right. It's all right. And you feel in the back of your head uh, Evangeline going... Mama, Mama, let me in, Mama. Let her in. It is now Bosco's turn. Bosco is going to look at you, Jeremiah. Unflinching, unfeeling, with his first attack, he is going to press his shoulder up against you and charge at you trying to push you back as far as he possibly can. Was well, it going to be an opposed grapple check? No, it's not. I am going to use a reaction. I am going oh. to use a thing. I am going to use the one will die that I have to use Fortitude of Stone. I invoke the fortitude of the Stone Father becoming immovable, making all attempts to move your character fail for the remainder of the turn. This includes pushing, pulling, knocking prone, or grappling. And I look at him and I just say, you're big, but you're not big enough. And I just plant my feet and stand rock solid. You 
in this moment see images of uh, men, women, warriors holding a shield wall against an impossible phalanx and not flinching an inch. You see a, a woman in full plate armor taking arrow after arrow and not going down. You see simple farmers taking up, uh, dropping their plowshares, picking up their, their pitchforks and their, uh, and their scythes and going to war to defend their land. And you see Bosco push against you. You feel the stone beneath your feet. You feel your ankles press against it as you and the stone are one, as he is pushing with all of his might, and you simply will not budge. Yeah, and I'm going to roll for my temp HP. As the fortitude in here fills your body. And I get one temporary HP. Yeah, that'll be good for when he uses a second attack. Yeah, hey, one is more than zero. I'm okay with okay. it. You Don't forget to check possibly. out Armored Utter's upcoming videos for his Grim Dawn specific home group. Uh, this could be already yeah. out by the time this video's out. Don't what forget to it? check Armored Utter's other videos for his <laughs> Grim Dawn specific home group. <laughs> so Bosco takes out his massive double-bladed axe. He's clearly frustrated, he takes it in both hands, and you see he swings his axe in a crackle of ethereal energy and fire and heat just emanate from his body. You actually going to make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh. All right, I just want to check. Okay, uh-uh. it's a nine. Ooh, damage is coming your way, my guy. I'm ready for it. But one fewer of it. Yep, <laughs> one fewer of it. Okay, he did not roll fantastically well, but you are still going to take 12 points of damage. All right. As you can feel this force wave of of heat and force just ripple through your body as you pump just a little bit. Comes to 11 for me, correct? Damage. Um, And as I feel his blade biting into me, I feel another surge of willpower burst through me. Very nice. Um, next, we're going to go to Monsieur. Monsieur is going to look across the room, sort of callously scanning left to right before uh, leaving his gaze at Miss Desdemona. And you're going to see him vanish from sight before reappearing in front of you and he's going to take his rapier and hold it like poised, elegant, like a fencer and he's going to slash at you. Um, and the first one is going to be uh, for sure a hit. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, and I, I need numbers. Yeah, it's a 23 to hit. Oh yeah, I'm not using it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll save that for something a little closer. <laughs> You're going to take nine points of damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. As he slashes up and pierces through with the with his fencing saber. The second one is uh, probably not going to hit. That is going to be an eleven. Just misses. Oh, how nice. We need to get you some armor from General yeah. after this. Yeah. Yeah. Please. That, hev- that heavy armor war lock. <laughs> so he takes this. Well, at least leather. Ethereal saber and slices against the, uh, the stone right above you as you barely duck out of the way. And it misses. And last initiative is Emma. Emma. Uh, you, she's going to look to where Rowan was, and she's going to go, strategist, no. And she's just going to look to Jeremiah in the midst of a uh, battle with Bosco, and she's going to look to you, Avery. Do something. I, I. Do a flip. 
<laughs> I mean, I figure it's the middle of battle. I don't have time for like the long speech that I would give her otherwise, right? Can I roll something to see if I notice this? Where the of fuck course. did my? You notice it? I'm, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm in a heated oh, right. situation here. If you want, you can simply notice it. Otherwise. Uh, I'm actually going to say with that roll, I probably don't. Okay. David likes okay. rolling dice. I know. Oh, it's I so cute. Like my, my one lonely set of dice. David just loves his clicky, shiny math rocks. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are going to see... Uh, Emma is going to look down as you see a, a plume of green fire appear in her hands as she locks eyes with the say and hurls it across the room. And it is going to go wide. God. I know people are, are, are kind of rolling bad against the uh, let's say here. <laughs> it's all right. Just shake it out. First get round. It out yep. Get it all out. <laughs> And then, uh, before the round is over, uh, Apothecary is going to use her held action to uh, heal Jeremiah. Actually, no, heal uh, Desdemona. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're going to get five health points back. Thank you, Apothecary. <sighs> that is exactly what she says. As you feel uh, the wounds in... Uh, Thank you, Apothecary. There you a go. Nice the Desdemona place. Good impression. Sort of slash across your shoulder sutures up and scars over as we go back to the top of the round. Yeah, healing from apothecary is not as pretty as healing from... <laughs> no, it certainly is not. Jeremiah, you see Bosco heaving over you with a massive battle axe. I heave back. I, uh... I just My teacher, back. isn't there a lair action? <gasps> is there a lair action? Oh, you're I so right. I'm so sorry. A lair action. <laughs> You top, forgot to give us homework, teacher. At the top of initiative, there is a layer action. Layer action. I love layer action. And it's going to once again target Mr. Locke. Make a dexterity save. Uh-huh. What? What am I kissing ass for? <laughs> <laughs> you reap what you sow. That's true. Right. Fact. Eight. <laughs> when you Eight. kiss ass, you get a mouthful of shit. <laughs> Avery, you see a plume of aether fire, a patch of aether fire, sort of wreath. Uh, right where your feet are and just a small explosion of crackling fire and electricity <sighs> scatters rocks as you take five points of damage. Oh no. Okay, that's not so And bad. now it's Jeremiah's turn. Jeremiah is gonna attack twice. And that would be an 18. 18 does not hit. Okay. Have and you mapped out the AC well, yet? I'm get well. So far, it's between eighteen and twenty-four or something. No, between eighteen and twenty something. I forget what I rolled when I did hit twenty-one. So nineteen or twenty. I'm guessing. I'm hoping it's just nineteen, but we'll see. Well, that's gonna hit. That's a twenty-two with the long sword. That hits. I got a. I think this is teaching Jeremiah that he needs a, a second longsword instead of this uh, pitchy forky. No, oh. don't give up on your dreams. <laughs> uh, that is going to be five damage. Five damage? Oh, no, 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 it's not. No, it's not. I oh. rolled the wrong guy. I keep rolling D6. Sorry, D8, D8. Hold on. That's max damage of 11. Wow. Your I mean, new see, bone as blade. a player, I don't care if you start using swords. Your bone blade <laughs> oh, no, as a player, I care, but Locke doesn't. Sorry. <laughs> Your bone blade is going to come up through Bosco's breastplate and land squarely in his ribs as you take your blade out and Bosco staggers forward, bloodied. Nice. And uh, I just take a quick second look at this blade and I just think, all right, yeah. And I say, uh, thanks, Apothecary. <laughs> and then... Nope, I'm still going to save my 
action surge. We're good. Okay. Then, for Rowan's turn, you hear ethereal ephemeral screams sort of echo across his chamber. Um, Avery, I'd like for you to give me a perception check. 16, actually. Okay. Avery, you're able to piece together the words. The star is not with me. Uh, can I take a quick look around to see if I see the coin on the ground or anything? Uh, yeah, definitely. Make an investigation check. Uh, natural 20, carry the 5. God damn. Uh, yeah, you look down exactly where Rowan was right next to you on the ground is the collapsing star. Excellent. And with that, it is your turn. Yes. All right, so, uh... I, so I want to, like, quickly shout, like, uh, I guess to Apothecary or whoever's listening, is there anything we can do with the star? Sorry, sorry, that was great acting. Is there anything we can do with the star? <laughs> uh, maybe pick um, it up. Um... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm going to use my item interaction to pick it up, but, you know, I'm shouting as I go. You hear Augur sort of echo in your subconscious um, that um, she goes, Professor Locke, the star must not be used with carelessness. It is an item of untold power. That's a no, then. I am going... What star? I was looking at my cool new arm. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, so I know that there's a dude trying to loom over me, but there's like a spoker between us, and I really want. <sighs> yeah, I think Locke would keep firing at Bosco while probably moving away, actually, moving backwards from the sepulcher. Okay. Closer to where Del Ramona is. Fair enough. Pew, pew. Uh, technically, hold on, is this a spell that you're doing? I mean, it's a cantrip, technically. Okay, so not not it's it's is it a spell for counterspell purposes? I mean, I guess you can counterspell a cantrip. <laughs> um, well, that's exactly what I'm going to do because it looks like this battle might not be going exactly uh, as I thought it would. Uh, so you're going to aim your gun and you're going to feel your magical bullet fizzle in the chamber as your gun jams and clicks. Oh, he's got a he's got a roll for it. Oh, that's right. Hold on. Sorry. Okay. I don't think isn't that only if the spell is a certain. It, level? It's like a like a DC ten or something for a cantrip. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. He rolled an eighteen. Okay, okay but so it's yes. important that he did. Yes, it is. Yes, I agree. Hey, listen, that's a um, third level spell slot that's down. That's important. So let's say looks at you and. <sighs> Uh, points to your gun and says technical issues lock as your gun clicks and jams alright uh, you know kind of a little phased but uh, alright there's magic going on here but I also want to toss over a spot of healing to uh, Jeremiah go for it you feel your gauntlet I get to re-roll this because it's a two. Ooh. And I re-roll the six. Ah, already right. coming in handy. Yeah, All right, so yeah, like it, it looks more like a, you know an actual gondola, but still like a little bit, little bit of it like detaches, like flies over, radiates some green light over on Jeremiah, where he's wounded and then comes back. And Jeremiah, you get the distinct smell of like uh, of like like daisies and lavender and and all these uh, beautiful wildflowers. Just for a mm. quick second, you feel sunlight on your skin, and then you feel six HP. better. You feel approximately six HP better. Nice. Um, and I would Rough. like to point out, because Mr. Teacher didn't give us homework, uh, if the creature is casting a spell of third level or lower, the spell fails and has no effect. Oh, okay. Or a cantrip. All right, all right, all right. 
channel That's, stuff. That's uh, 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 I I sort of figured. I I forgot what. The, right. I know it's like super yeah. easy to do a cantrip. I didn't know if it was uh, an actual DC. Yeah, no, no, I, I know for the future. Want to get My mistake. It, you know. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Anyway, thanks. Uh, feeling fresh as a daisy. So, it is Lassay's turn, and now. Let the battle truly begin, because you are going to see Lassay grab onto the sepulcher lid as you see light draining from the sepulcher into Lassay's hand, as you hear an ephemeral scream echo out all throughout the chamber as Augur shrieks in pain. And that's just his object interaction. Mm. He got spells. He got hella spells. No. Come on, that's at least a bonus action. <laughs> uh, ha ha ha. He is going to look over to where Locke, Desdemona, and Apothecary, and Emma all are. And, um. I don't like that he's doing that. Yeah, right. And he's gonna go. Oh, little girl. Let me show you the true power of Aether Fire. And he's going to. The whole room darkens a little bit as the bright spot of energy in Liz Hay's hand is overwhelming everything else. Green, crackling fire. I would like all four of y'all to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, no. See, you keep saying I, that, but I think what I you mean to say it. is you pass automatically. <laughs> uh, speaking uh, of passing, Emma passes. Say he gives Ooh. up. Apothecary is not. Uh, I got hair in my mouth. <laughs> 18. Oh, and 20. Uh, yes. Wow, That's okay, good. guys. Oh, Thank you, Ishtak. So Apothecary is only taking uh, is the only one taking full damage from this. Yikes. But anyone who passed it still takes twelve points of damage. Sure. As this Aether Fire <sighs> ripples out and explodes in a massive radius. That's harsh. But you see, uh, Apothecary is looking uh, incredibly worse for wear. Yeah. Uh, but then it is Desdemona's turn. Yeah. Um, all right, so this dude is within melee of me, yes? Lassay? Oh, no, no sorry. No, uh, Monsieur is, is within melee of you, yes. Monsieur would also have to. Oh, my it. gosh! You're so absolutely right. Ooh. Monster passes, so Monster does take uh, 12 points of damage. Alright. That was a good thing to remember and oh, remind the nope, teacher. Nope, yes, nope. good, good. <laughs> Absolutely. Teacher, you are already doing homework. <laughs> Alright, well, I, um... Desdemona feels that she doesn't have any spells or anything to her disposal that would be useful in melee, so out of an act of desperation um reaches into her um dress pocket because dresses should have pockets Mm -hmm. and pulls Uh. out a small dagger that she has been carrying around with her for protectional purposes that are probably coming in handy right now and again, out of sheer desperation, is going to just unsheath it really quick and try to go in for a stab for this guy. Okay. Make a a melee attack roll. Yeah. Yeah. 14? I would be shocked if that hits. Let's see. Unleash your inner child. Uh, It was incredibly close, but no, it did not hit. Unleash your inner child. (laughs) <laughs> is that the end of your turn, Miss Testimona? Nothing else I can do. Um, yeah, she's just going to look down at her hand that and look back up at this uh, 
sword wielding masked man in front of her and just um, really try to control her nervous shaking. Aww. Yeah. Okay. Um, you are going to see uh, the figure in front of you hesitate for a brief moment. Just, just the briefest moment. You, you swipe your, your dagger out and you sort of back up a little bit towards the wall. And uh, you just see the briefest moment of hesitation. But up next is Bosco. You're going to see Bosco grunt loudly. You see uh, his white knuckles poking just out of his leather-studded gauntlets are, are, are white and, and incredibly tight as his axe lights up, flares with an angry ethereal fire as he swings down on you, Jeremiah. My AC is 19. That's going to be a 16 for the first hit. Nope. And for the second hit... I pushed away with my shield. It's going to be a 22. That does it. He's going to swing wide with the first one. As it comes down, man, y'all are getting lucky. That's gonna be fifteen points yeah. of damage. Fifteen? Okay. okay. I feel so lucky. <laughs> need to get, need to get lucky. And Avery, you are going to take five points of damage as fire wreaths off of Jeremiah and jumps uh, to you. Uh, all the way across Great the room. Spell. Great spell. Is just green flame blading us? Yeah. It feels appropriate. Um, that he doesn't have to make a roll for the uh, for an attack against. Hmm? No. He no does green not. flame blade automatically happens. I honestly don't remember. I, I know they just like eroded it in Tasha's. So I Excuse me, teacher. Green flame blade can only affect the secondary target within five feet of the original. Well, it's a it's a fun different one that does no, 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 a very no, no, no. long range green flame blade. <laughs> this is. I just wanted to, to use that voice again. No, it's not green flame. That's because it's not green flame blade. It's grim flame blade. Ah. Uh, uh, see what I did there? I do. Um, I do. Hey. Okay. Uh, again, I'm, I'm just like reaching for things to use this amulet on. Um, I'm just reaching. <laughs> right, cool. You know you can use your amulet on yourself. It doesn't have to be somebody else. Yeah. Uh, I don't really need to yet. I'm wondering why I'm adding in. Uh, Desdemona, how much health do you have left? So weird. <laughs> I like that question. <laughs> um, 11. Out of 27. All right. You have two digits. Lucky. (laughs) So you are going to see uh, Monsieur take his 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 rapier out. The first attack is going... Well, actually, hold on. Uh, What's his his bonus to attack? Is plus five. That's going to be a 12. That's my AC. We really need to get you some armor oh, if you Jer- survive. Okay, I thought for sure that would miss, but apparently not. Jeremiah turns around. Oh, and he did the, the thing! amulet on his neck flashes, and he just shouts, No more. Stop hurting my friends, you bastard. The blade and bounces off as you see a, a pillar of stone form right in front of Desdemona as the blade dances right off of it and goes wide and the stone crumbles down oh no it's still there actually as he makes his second attack it's there to the other end of the round isn't it yep nat 20. yep why do you lie i don't it's there i did the thing mister this fight wasn't going the way i expected let's see oh no that's max damage on the die too Oh no! That's actually. Well, she's probably not against the dead, so it doesn't really matter. Desdemona? Um, I don't even want to look. <laughs> Monsieur dashes to one side, finds Purchase beyond the stone pillar that's formed in front of him, and pierces through your shoulder as. He deals 
non-lethal damage to you. As you are knocked unconscious. What? This guy is so weird. Okay. He's either trying to capture us or he's... Yeah. Something's going on in his head. Something going on. I gotta make some notes real quick. Okay. Okay. You just got conked on the side of the head. You are down. You are unconscious, yeah. but you're not making death saving throws. Okay. 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 Um, up next is Emma. You can see uh, Avery, Emma, uh, is beginning to uh, look a little winded. She took quite a big hit from Lassay's magic, and she is burning through her own life points to cast, but she is in it now, and she is going to return a smaller firebolt back at Lassay, and it's going to miss. As this one again goes wide, as she stumbles to the ground, you can tell that she is definitely still holding back. What is the point of sacrificing a child if you don't even win? <laughs> <laughs> don't quote me on this. Uh, and then at the end of the round, Apothecary is going to give a little heal to... Oh boy, a really little heal. To Mr. Avery Locke, four points of help. Well, I mean, I have two digits now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Lassay says out loud, All you have to do, drop the star, leave me with the sepulcher, and you can walk away. At the top of the order is Jeremiah. Oh, it's layer action. Yep. I remember yep, that. Yep, yep. This time it's going to target Jeremiah. Make a dexterity saving throw. Ooh, let's see. Nope, six total. No bueno. As you take four points of damage, Aether Fire erupts from the ground, scattering rock across the battlefield. Ow. Oh. And it is your turn. Okay, on my turn. I am going to a penny for your thoughts, Marty. I don't want to say what my thoughts are because I am deathly afraid if I if if I am correct. I am very afraid. I feel like she doesn't want to give you and ideas. I'm going to fucking kill you if it is what I'm thinking. <laughs> Uh, Jeremiah, you have just been struck by Aether Fire. Uh, pebbles clatter around the battlefield. It is your turn. What would you like to do? So you said this is a 30 by 30 foot square. 30, and 30 foot er, long? 30 diameter circle. Right. Oh no, 30. Is diameter lengthwise across? Diameter is the full way. Radius yes. is center. So it's a 30 two. diameter circle. Okay. Would I be able to hit all three of them with a 20 by 20 in a 20 by 20 square? So the way that they're set up is that um, you can either hit Lassay and Monsieur, and you probably hit Marie as well, or you can hit Lassay and Bosco quite easily. Okay. Because they're just sort of uh, all scattered around the battlefield at this point. Do that one. But you will take an opportunity attack. Uh, moving to oh no no never mind. You might be able to stay within Bosco's threatened radius. Yeah, yeah. Still, let's say. Yeah, never mind. I'd probably have to on the other side of Bosco, I think. It's not going to do damage though, and I don't think it's actually worth it then. Let's try to kill Bosco. Yeah, yeah. That's what we're doing. We're Just... trying to kill Bosco and survive the other two. Exactly. First attack is a miss. Man, the spear is just screwing up. And short sword, also a miss. Damn. Uh, with that, I... Long sword, even. To, yeah, the long sword misses. I am going to... 
I would not hate you if you action surged. Yeah, the thing is, what I should have done was second winded, I think. Eh, it's alright. Screw it. Um, yeah, I will ax- action surge and attack again. Now, this time I can only make one attack, though, because I already used my action. Do it with the bone, the bone sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to try and slash out again with his bone sword. Nope. Natural one. (sighs) All right, Jeremiah. You. Yes. Lash out with your bone sword. Bosco catches it. And he yanks you to the ground from your bone sword. You feel all the bones in in your arm shift forward as you clatter to the ground. You are now prone, can, and you take two points of damage. You can react. Uh, yeah, I will use one of my will die and refuse to be moved. It's coming in handy. And I think it'll it's, be, the, it'll the be a lot. Yeah. So he grabs it, and he tries to pull me down. And I just look at him and say, like I said before, you're big, but not big enough. He is going to look at you and go, why won't you move? Honestly, I'm still figuring that one out myself. All right. Uh, on Rowan's turn, he is going to scream a bunch. Anybody can make a perception check that's not unconscious. <laughs> like that. Uh, nope. Nope. All right. Uh, yeah. You, oh, you, nine. You tell me. My, my rolls are just screwed. You hear uh, screams and uh, you hear the words "Don't let." Avery, it's your turn. I like how that worked out with Rowan and then Avery right afterwards. Just a quick note, I got a four on my will die, so I have four temp HP. Very nice. That might come in handy for when I take it all away. I think it's gonna. I'm gonna circle around the room just a little bit so I'm not quite as close to like any clump of people. Okay. And I'm gonna try to shoot Bosco again. All right, go for it. Nice. 16. Does not hit Bosco. Alright, I'm gonna toss one little bit of healing energy towards Desdemona. Bring it back, baby. For five hit points. Yes. <clears throat> Desdemona, you feel consciousness fade back to you as you see Monsieur standing over you. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> that is the end of Avery's turn. It is now Lassie's yep. turn. He's got some spells, boys. Yeah, but not that many, right? I mean... No, he's got a great many spells. Uh, Let us see here. Uh, He is... uh, He's got a singular goal right now. And you're going to see, first of all, at the top of his turn, more of that, that, that pure white energy is going to siphon from the sepulcher into... Uh, into the say, as you can feel the screams of Augur get uh, softer and more pathetic, just uh, almost whimpering at this point. As you can see, Lisay sort of now brimming with a sort of arcane power, and you're going to see a group of Lisay. In fact, you're going to see three additional Lisay all around the sepulcher. Of course. As he sets out to finish his grim task. Up next is... You know it. You know where you love her? Desimona Valmaris! Who is in fact conscious. Who is in fact conscious. You're me. Yes. 
<laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, looking up at the uh, masked man looming over her with the blade on fire, um, realizing that, again, she is in a sticky situation, she's just going to close her eyes, just bite her lip, and within herself, find her connection to Evie and say, my darling, I need your strength. I need your help. As you go deep into your recesses, you can hear Evie's voice go, don't worry, mother. Now I will protect you. As you get oh, shunted back into your consciousness, you are a passenger in your own body for uh, for this one brief moment. As everybody sees Desdemona of Almaris uh, not only get up to her feet, but sort of hover in place for a brief moment. As you hear her voice doubled, as she goes, <laughs> I. I'm Evangeline Valmaris, harbinger of death, and you will not hurt my mother. <laughs> Did not see that coming. As you see more powerful than ever before, a point of light begins to emanate from uh, Desdemona's hand as she launches a huge spear of lavender light that streaks across the sky, hitting Monsieur and knocking him back. As he is flung backwards several feet, he is now bloody as he took 14 points of damage. Damn! Nice. Okay. He's not that beefy. He's, he's not that beefy, no. He took a little bit from the uh, from the say spell, and now this. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, but I'm gonna make another roll here. As you're going to see him sort of clutch his face a little yeah. bit, and uh, Desdemona, you return to your body, able mm-hmm. and willing. What would you like to do? Okay, um... Well, okay, um, am I still hovering? You have, or... uh, since fallen back to the floor. You're now on your feet. Um, she's just gonna kind of, just kind of feel around her face and just her arms and herself. Just kind of reeling from that whole experience and letting out a sharp breath. Um, I still have my own action and bonus action and all that. You have everything. You can cast a spell. You can do yeah. whatever you need to do. Uh, this was purely, uh, this is Evangeline's <laughs> action, so to speak. So, treated as such, Spot- she's now on cooldown. So cool. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Um, I am going to get as far away as I can from... <laughs> Monsieur, and um, probably align myself where I'm far enough away from Lisse and seeing what he's doing and piecing it all together that whatever it is that he's doing, he is drawing from Augur's power. So she is going to attempt to stop that. And, um, God, I hope this works. Um, she is going to draw her hand down into a point and summon the uh, ability to cast Witch Bolt. Yes. I okay. really, really hope that this hits. Does I'm gonna try. Witch Bolt have an AoE aspect? No. All right, go for it. All right, Pink Dice did the job last time with Father Eli. Let's see if it does it again. That went way out there. Wow. <laughs> And it does! With a 15 plus 5 to hit! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. 
Well, <laughs> hold on. I don't want you to celebrate too quickly. No, come on, come on. Let me have this one. <laughs> we have to see which uh, image you hit. Oh, fuck, you're right. Okay, fine. Yep. You arc your witch bolt from fingertip as it arches over to the sepulchre lid and crackles as it makes contact with Lassay. You see his other mirror images shunt away as your witch bolt crackles against his shield. Deal damage. That's right, is that connects to it too. Um, that's eleven right. plus Oh my god. Oh no, 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 that's two that's two D twelve. Oh hold on, so that's eleven and I'm eleven again! I'm not even kidding you! That is twenty-one points of damage. Twenty-two. Eleven and eleven is twenty-two. That's math! I can't do math! It's okay. You're it's holding the shiny math math. rocks. It's better math. Yes. Uh Okay. So you're a witch bolt arcs to the sky, clatters against his shield as you see his shield radiate and shatter. So, he already took five damage from Jeremiah, that shield, so that means that that shield had 11 left, which means that in order to keep on siphoning from Augur, he is going to have to hit a concentration of 11. Right? Because every every point after, uh, after 10 damage, it's uh, one I'm more to his concentration check. Is that right? I think so. I'm pretty sure it's ten or half damage, whichever is more. So in this case, I think it would be concentration check ten. Okay. But we double check because this is important. Uh, concentration. Is it two temporary hit points? Uh, it was. Does that does no, that not, does that affect his? Uh... I don't. I don't know if that matters necessarily. Um, temporary hit points are hit points. Like some sort of right, temporary hit points are hit points, so that would be. I mean, but if you're if you're treating it as like a separate barrier, kind of like an abjuration wizard, then it's not really his hit points. Um, yeah. Okay, concentration. It's almost exactly like that. Okay, whenever you take damage while you are concentrating on a spell, you must make a Constitution saving throw and maintain your concentration. The DC equals ten or half of the damage you take, whichever number is higher. Uh, if you take damage from multiple sources, then you make a saving throw for each source. Yeah. So, yeah, so if it's temp HP, I think technically the DC would be 11. Okay, the DC is 11 then. Temp HP is still HP. It's not like a separate shield thing. And we know that half of you at home don't usually make concentration saves, so you're welcome for the lesson. <laughs> wow. wow. Good wow. You see. Let's say staggers backwards. His concentration interrupted. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's the mode is so good. He rolled a nap one. Oh. <laughs> the good thing we had this discussion whether the DC is 10 or 11. That's, it really is. Uh, oh so my good, God. so good. As you see his hair flops in front of his face as he looks up to you, Desdemona, and goes, oh. You're gonna pay for that. You seriously just... You hit the right mirror image, you got through all of his temporary hit points, and you rolled a nat one? That's an insane turn. That was so good. Uh, I just want to point out that she had uh, she was unconscious before I healed her. <laughs> I was about to say, and who do I have to thank for this? Avery Locke. High five. Yeah. That's my part of the teamwork, because uh, I'm not hitting things. <laughs> Speaking of hitting things, uh, it is now Bosco's turn. Uh-oh. And Bosco is uh, is not really keen on doing non-lethal damage. Are you sure? I don't know. I mean, I, I, he okay. might be feeling a little, a little generous. He's kind of, a, he's kind of an asshole. Uh, but the first one's definitely going to miss. I like that. That is a nine to hit. The second one is a 18 to hit. 
Nope. <gasps> AC is 19. Wow. All right, it might be it might be time. No, it's definitely not time. Time. It, it is time. It's not time. As you are going to see, Bosco rear up his axe once again. As he is fed up with you, Jeremiah. As his axe flares to life brighter and shinier than even before. As he is going to, with wild abandon, swing at you. Ooh. Ooh. It's a 15. Nope. And once more. It's an 8. Yes! (laughs) Oh, the action surging? Four nice. consecutive swings. <sighs> Jeremiah is able to duck under it, block one with his pitchy fork, dodge to the side, and weave backwards as the nothing is landing. The here, motherfucker! You can see Aether Fire wreathing up and out of his helmet as he's getting more and more frustrated. And it's a layer action, y'all. Desmona, make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, and actually, no. because I forgot to earlier, while you're at it, make a constitution saving throw. Uh, Wait, she didn't... Th- oh, this is the one where she would need to, right. Make the dexterity Wait. saving throw first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What well, would she need to make a con save, a concentration save from... You'll see if she fails. Um, it's a 12? That's a 12, it's not going to do it. And you see Aether okay. Fire begin to coalesce near your feet, and it ruptures for all of four points of damage. Well, that means you only have a DC 10 for your concentration save. Yeah. Oh, what are you concentrating Teacher. on? Teacher! Oh, which one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, make your, make your, concent- uh, your concentration save real quick. I'm going to switch dice. I'm going to pink dice. Pinky's been good to you. Yep. Yeah. All right. Um... It's a 13. You're able to maintain nice. concentration on Witch Bolt. Now, make that uh, that constitution saving throw that I was talking about earlier. And like I said, you'll know what it's about if she fails. Okay. It's a 9 she... plus 1 for 10. Desdemona. After Evie left your body, you can feel just your breath get a little bit shorter and you feel just a little bit weaker as a single strand of silvery gray hair falls in front of your face. Ooh! Is she older now? I don't know, we're getting Mr. Fantastic vibes. Oh, I was going to say rogue, but... Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, that's better. Oh my god, I love cosmetic changes in characters. Please, let's go with the silver strand. Yes. We got our own silver fox going on. Uh, Top of the round, that is Jeremiah. All right. I'm going to attack Bosco with my pitchy forky. And that's not going to hit. Come on. Uh, Stop all the forces. Bon- I know. Two right? movable objects, rather. Bonus Until he's at zero, he's hogging up my hex. <laughs> I'm not going to uh, attack again. I'm going to use my second wind. Okay. To read some HP. It's probably smart. I mean, my Inquisitor's focus is tied to this <laughs> bonus right. that I have determined to <laughs> defeat. I have the no, cats out of the bag. Minimum on my second wind. So Oof. I get that. five HP as I steal myself and take a deep breath and yeah it's more like you bronze yourself really yeah basically I gird my loins just a little you, bit you copper yourself <laughs> and uh, once again Rowan screams <gasps> echo throughout the chambers if you'd like to make a perception check you can see you say that oh I can actually uh, 19 because they're all a 20 Okay, then you were able to hear clear as day. Don't let him absorb Augur. Hmm. Yeah, we 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 got this. We got this. <laughs> he can't do much. He's he's trapped in a someplace else. 
Well, you should come back. <gasps> oh my gosh. Hold on a second. Hold Holy. on a second. I should have had to make a different concentration check whenever it does the monus track for that witch bolt. I'm going to do a separate concentration check for, for something else. Okay. Rowan is still trapped in uh, the realm beyond, and he is just sort of echoing and screaming in from the veil. Crazy. Uh, that is Avery's turn. Professor Locke, what would you like to do? I, I need to take down the dude that's hogging up my Inquisitor's Focus. Inquisitor's Focus. Your deadly aim, perhaps. Exactly. And uh, I think a 21. 21 hits? Yay, I roll damage. I'm rolling damage. I'm rolling damage, friends. Yeah. I get to roll damage. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. I get to roll 18 damage. Wow. Whoa. 18 yeah. damage. Hell yeah. Your bullet Hell. sails to the sky as it pierces through Bosco's armor, his shoulder, through the other side as flames spurt out of either side. As you can see, he is just now shuddering and shaking with pure rage. Avery, you can tell that Bosco is on his very last breath. Oh boy! Quick, Avery, <laughs> second wind. Not second. Not much. Not much I can do about uh, that extra mile. Did I did my best? Uh, is anybody under ten hit points? No. All right, that's my turn then. All right. Uh, ooh. It's time for uh, it might be time for my my big boy move. Oh god. No You already did big boy moves. <laughs> no, we, we got we got other big boy moves in here. Well you shouldn't. <laughs> you are going to see let's say stagger forward and place both hands on the sepulchre once again. He's not able no, to No stop drain. it. He's not able to drain this turn. He's got to. He's got to. He's got to uh, gear up to that. But he's gonna look at you guys and he's gonna sneer. He's gonna say, oh, "Should have surrendered. Live to fight another day. Now you're gonna be ash buried beneath the ground. No one will mourn you. No one will miss you." As he looks up to the skylight and starts muttering something to himself, as I need. Everybody here to make a dexterity saving throw. Why always dexterity? I mean, I don't have like saving throws that are much higher, but that is a nineteen plus one for twenty. That is a nine. Maybe <laughs> it really goes well with Jeremiah. I got a fourteen. A fourteen. Okay. What is his uh, spell saving throw once again? Let me check that. Just to make like sure that 12, I... Right? Like a 13, right? Well, 12, 12. An 8, maybe. Now yeah. it's a 15. Oh, Sorry. This is gonna... This is gonna be bad, y'all. I am hope that I roll, though. It was so good until now. I was gonna say... <laughs> <sighs> oh, no. Oh, no. Any, you see massive green boulders streak through the sky, the skylight, and start exploding all around Did he you. Get fucking meteor swarm? Or something. As anybody who did not save takes 25 points of damage. Anyone who saves takes half. Uh, do we are in our campaign? Are we rounding up or down? Just, just round down. Twelve is fine. Twelve and thirteen. 
Who is down? Me. Yo. That was um that was near permadeath territory. Oh, oh boy. You mean insta death? Same difference. Yeah, yeah. De- deathy death. All death is permadeath. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Avery, are you down? A both Avery and Desdemona are down. Oh, fuck. Okay. How are you doing, Jeremiah? Jeremiah's fine. I'm at 21. Oh wow. <laughs> you could have saved and stayed up. I could have failed and stayed up. I could have failed and stayed up too. Um, Apothecary stays up. You see Emma. A boulder rocks to the sky and launches Emma across the arena. She smacks against the wall and falls to the ground unconscious. God damn it. You can see Lisey is now sort of breathing heavy, out of gas, so to speak, but still arched over that sepulcher. Uh, Desdemona, make a death saving throw. <laughs> We love those. Fifteen. Fifteen. Put one in the W category for George W. Bush. <laughs> Six A's. Oh my god. All right. It's almost over, man. <laughs> this is so much. It, it'll, it'll be over if I get my way. <laughs> it is Bosco's turn. Bosco is going to swing at Jeremiah. A once. That is going to be a 17, not hit. What do I need to hit? I think I need a 14 to hit. 19. Oh, for you. Yeah, okay. So that's going to be a miss and a miss. As yes. you're going to see him plant his axe into the ground and just start breathing ever so heavily. As you can see, his flames start to sputter and, and, and they're slowly dying out. However, uh, you're going to see Monsieur dash across the battlefield, and he is going to strike at Jeremiah. The first one is going to hit, I'm afraid. That is a 19 total. Yep, that does hit. That is going to be eight points of damage. (laughs) Okay. Second one is going to miss, as now you're aware of this other attacker on your other side. You're able to dodge out of the way and parry his blow with your bone saber. Okay. Um, Apothecary at the end of the round is going to send some healing words over to Avery. Avery, you're going to get seven hit points back as you (gasps) pop back to life. One zero. With a little uh, worse for wear, you now have a permanent one loss to your death saving throws until you can get a long rest. And um, you feel a radiating heat across part of your face. Uh, And that's layer action. Are there mechanical consequences to that? Uh, this is your grievous wound. We'll figure it out. But it was a very light okay. grievous wound. So this the very likely will just be superficial. Okay. We'll maybe make like a give you like a charisma uh, negative effect on talking to people. <laughs> You've got a cool badass scar now. Uh, Jeremiah. Make a dexterity saving throw. Alright. And don't fail. That would be an 18. Oh my. Leap out of the way as you see Jeremiah this fire spurts up under your floor, under underneath your uh, your feet, as you are flanked on either side by two very scary enemies. Uh, Rowan uh, is is just not going to do anything. He's nothing really interesting to say at this point. Uh, but Avery, it is your turn now. No, it's my turn. Oh, I'm so sorry. Jeremiah, it's definitely okay. your turn, buddy, baby boy. It's my turn. Jeremiah 
So I don't know if mechanically I can do this, but I wanna. So I'm gonna try. I I see both um, Monsieur and Bosco on either side of me. I see Lachey at the sepulcher. I take a step back, not moving threatening range, but I want to get everybody kind of in sight of me. Okay. And I know that there's a good chance I'm going to go down no matter what, but Lachey obviously wants that sepulcher. So what if there's no more sepulcher? And I'm going to stomp my foot on the ground as shockwaves ripple out and the very earth begins to buckle upward in a tangle of stone and loose earth and I'm going to use terraform and try and destroy the sepulcher. Ooh, okay. Here's what I'm going to ask. Um, I would like you to beat an AC 15 with an attack. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a 17 total. Oh my lord. What is it? What are you doing, man? (laughs) You. First of all, does uh, does anybody have to make any saving throws for this? It doesn't say. It just says that it could be a 20 by 20 square of uh, earth that becomes difficult terrain. So I'm going to make the area basically from me over to the sepulcher, or, you know, whatever 20 foot block that includes the sepulcher just jagged and rocky and just fuck that sepulcher up. You see massive cracks forming up the sepulcher as the very earth begins to buckle underneath it as it shifts and breaks and snaps. And it crumbles to dust before you. You hear a screaming gasp of the auger as she turns into deafening silence. For a brief moment, all of you feel this this cold wail of energy <sighs> echo throughout the chamber, make its way up towards the sky as silence fills the chamber. As Lisey looks to you with absolute fury in his eyes. You have no idea what you just did. <laughs> I pissed you off and that's good enough for me. Now bring it, you bitch. It's Avery's turn. You just killed the auger! (laughs) (laughs) That shrug, though! Listen. (laughs) Jeremiah is willing to sacrifice everything to save his friends. Better she dies than gets absorbed by that guy. Besides, he wasn't really sure what was going to happen. And he didn't hear Rowan scream anything. Or, well, he heard the screams. Well, I mean, Laka's going to keep fighting and sort out later, so let's shoot Bosco again. (gasps) Come on! Also, I roll for temporary hit die. Oh, yeah, you do. Two of them. So I assume that's a miss on Bosco? That's a miss, but uh, Desdemona's getting four points. Desdemona, you <gasps> gasp back to life. I won't let you stay down. As you, as well, feel uh, just a, a radiating warmth across side of your face. <sighs> oh. Sorry, we forgot to make uh, checks for the others to see if they f- fell prone or not. That's oh, wait, no, they don't fall prone. Sorry, they don't fall if prone. If they fall prone, they take more damage. Yeah. And that's what yeah. it is. We're good. Yep, we're all good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make a roll for Lassay to see if he does a smart thing or if he acts out of rage right now. <sighs> He's going to look at you, Jeremiah, and he's going to go, well, one out of two is not bad. He is going to use a little cantrip 
by the name of Mage Hand. Did any guesses what it's going to do with this Mage Hand? Well, he can't target an object that's in my pocket, if that's what you think. He's going to try to pickpocket you with his Mage Hand. Let it happen. <laughs> Is he a rogue? Arcane trickster? He's, he's a custom. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, he rolled a 16. He gets a plus two to sleight of hand. You can um, contest that. With with what? With dexterity again. Come on, man. I know I can't actually. <laughs> As you see uh, the collapsing star float out of your pocket towards Lassay as he as he grabs it. And he turns to uh, to uh, to Bosco and Monster and says, Boys, we're making an exit. But Bosco's not having that. You see, yeah. uh, we Bosco, weren't gonna let Bosco have. Yeah. Bosco's got a uh, a little score to settle here, as he is going to look at Jeremiah and he is going to levy his axe and give it just everything that he's got left. And he rolled a fifteen. Nope. He gets a. I mean, he rolled a fifteen. He gets a plus five to that attack. Oh, 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 yup. <laughs> that hits? Yes, indeed it does. That might go down, guys. Oh, you no! rolled really badly, though. Oh, oh that's good. good. You're just going to take 10 points of damage. <sighs> All right. Just... I mean, it could have been way worse. Like, way, way worse. Oh, Bosco's okay. capable of doing, like, 20-something points of damage a turn. I mean, I'm Around. really hurt right now, but I'm still standing. He's got another attack. Oh, motherfucker. Don't count your chickens. <laughs> I, my farm. As the gone. second one goes just past your breastplate, <laughs> as he staggers forward and falls to one knee, using his axe to... <laughs> you see jets of flame erupt from his bullet holes, from his, from his slashing wounds, from, from his neck, from his face. As um, you are going to see Monsieur. Fuck right, that dude. God Making damn. an exit, right? Making an exit. Monsieur, yeah, right. the ever tactical thinker, is going to tear a hole through space. As you see an opening in nothing, a green portal emerge right near Lassay. Oh no. Can I cast a spell to react to things at all? Like, well, tell me what it is and then we'll see. That's well, I have hold person, which like, if I have any time at all, I would like to try it. I mean, you're next to initiative. Okay. Uh, Bosco is, or not Bosco, Monsieur is going to make his way uh, to that portal. Not into it, I but he's going to. I attack of opportunity. Yes, you will. Uh, uh, I don't think so. 14? Nope. Just barely misses. Yeah, he has a lower armor class, actually. We should have gone for him first, really. Uh, uh, yes, that probably yeah. was. He's not the yeah. bigger threat, though. He doesn't do nearly as much damage as Bosco control. does either, but... Yeah. He has, he's got some tricky stuff up his sleeve. He, he tried cool to attack stuff. Bosco at level oh, one. <laughs> also, remember that that is all difficult terrain that he is walking through. Oh, oh, does roof. he have anything to deal with that? Hold on. He might have uh, some sort of feat or something. I mean, unless he casts it more than 15 feet away from himself. Uh, that's true, though. That is a uh, difficult terrain. He doesn't have anything to deal with that. Okay, so he moves half speed. Very good. I mean, he still might make it, but you never know. I'll say that, that that factors in, is that he was not quite close enough to, let's say, he now is not next to the portal, so he can't quite guard and make that exit that he needed to. At the bottom of the round, Apothecary is going to see Jeremiah. Uh, no, actually, uh, she is going to... Uh, as Emma makes a single death saving throw and fails, she is going to heal Emma and pop her back up. Did I get, my, did, did I get my turn? 
<gasps> no. no. For some reason, I thought you were dead. That's my mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's an easy mistake to make. I'm so sorry. I thought, I thought that you were down still. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, Desdemona, it is, it is definitely your turn. All right. Um, Technically, it would have gone well, before uh, Bosco or... Uh, or Monsieur. So try well, to hit Bosco, and if you succeed, we'll edit the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, you don't can worry. Pretend it's better. Um... Desdemona, seeing now that Lisey has the uh, coin in his possession, um, she's just going to stand up, feeling just bloodied and just beat and worse for wear, still stand up on two feet, extend her palm out and say, oh, you're not leaving with that. I'd like cast- to see you try to stop me. Eldritch Blast to try and stop. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna stop him. <laughs> Don't know. Don't know. Let's find um, out. Um, that is fourteen plus five for nineteen. Huh, for sure hits. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Uh, so that is a ten. Um, that is a seven plus three for ten damage. Uh, that deals ten damage for sure. You see a little bit of that gets absorbed by a barrier that seemed to form around him again. As it pierces through the barrier and just scuffs him in the shoulder. And he says, oh, Miss Valmaris is going to take much more than that. Take me down. Uh, And then we're going to go back to the top of the order for perhaps the last round of this combat. Depending on how this goes. Jeremiah. Layer action. Layer action! I mean, layer action. <laughs> Teach her. Desdemona. <laughs> what was, what was oh, Avery's... What did, Avery, what did you do that round? Shot at Bosco. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And put the Desdemona and, back on her feet. Desdemona, yeah. Sorry. Uh, Desdemona, you know what to do. A patch of Aether fire <laughs> swirls up around your feet. God, I am terrified right now. Um... Ooh. Oh, okay. Um, that is 16. That is enough. Desdemona, you still have enough energy adrenaline from uh, needing to get to uh, to Mont to uh, Lassay before he's able to make his escape. You feel the blood <laughs> pumping. You're able to move your feet quicker than your mind as you definitely dodge out of the way of that patch of Aether Fire before it's able to rupture under your feet. But bless. And then, Jeremiah. All right, I'm going to attack finish Bosco. Him. Finish him. Get Bosco! <laughs> First attack misses. Second oh, come attack. on! Come on! Misses. No! <laughs> it all just missed. Ooh, uh, I should have done it before, but I didn't do it. Hold on. Uh, you know what, Jeremiah? Okay. I actually don't. You should take advantage on these attacks. Oh, well then, in that case, just the first attack misses. Thank you. Come on, buddy. Do it. Do it. Second one. 18? No. (gasps) Bullshit. Come on. It's okay. You still have the opportunity to attack. Still have the opportunity to attack. Okay. Man, oh man, you're right though. This is just two fucking big boys. Just no. Oh, I, I, <laughs> I forgot to make a concentration check for Lassay for that that uh, Eldritch Blast. <gasps> I'm so sorry. This may or may not change what happens during this round. Desdemona's Eldritch Blast <sighs> sails to the sky, scuffs his shoulder, and uh, Lassay says, "Oh, you're gonna have to try harder than that." as Rowan appears back, standing exactly where he was. <gasps> fuck yeah, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. Where was I? Lachey has now. a star. <gasps> Now's not the time. And Rowan is going to make his action. Yes, 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 yes. yes as he is going to prep 
his attack. You're going to see, again, a nice green beam arcing with lightning. Fire from Rowan's hand. As it connects with Lassay. Yes! Yes! Come on. Oh my god! As Lassay is going to take 27 points of damage. Yes, 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 yes. Did he do it? Very bloodied. Very, oh. very bloodied. Are we basically just inserting him back into the rotation where it now would have been his turn anyway? That would have been his turn anyway. He goes right to Jeremiah. He's at he's the initiative 14. You're going to see, let's say, pant heavily. As Avery, it is your turn. Well, in that case, screw hold person. I'm going to hex and shoot him. Yes. <laughs> no, come on. No, no. Yes. No. Yes. Uh, Shut up. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I really need you guys to fail right now. <laughs> well, I did. You're welcome. That's a nap one. Oh, uh, my God. Okay, so there's some consequences for that as well, my friend. Jeremiah gets consequences for now one, you get a consequences for now one too. It's not in the rules, but we're, we're having fun here. Yeah, but I'm prettier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, you say you're prettier and then you, you pat your face and you go, oh, oh no. Oh, I was prettier. Yeah. You feel the space where your eyebrow was. <laughs> um, and you are going to aim your gun at Lassay as the gun clicks for a second and you can see the magical chamber within the gun begin to light up before your gun bursts attack yourself no. please <laughs> oh my god i mean that's like just a straight up regular spell attack roll the same thing that you would have done to let's say well i rolled a 15 yeah. Which is my armor class. <laughs> and ties go to the roller. Hmm? And ties go to yeah, the Yeah, yeah, no, so that hits me. That hits me. I'm not hexing myself, though. <laughs> no. So it... Does it just do regular damage? Whatever you would have done as a spell. Cool, I'm at zero. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> dragons are all. Because someone has spare the dying as a cantrip. Well, guess what, you guys? No. It is Lasse's <laughs> turn. Oh <gasps> wait, isn't it uh, Desdemona's turn? No, Desdemona's an issue of four. <laughs> Lasse's an issue of six. Well, le poop. No one is in a uh, threatening range of Lasse, right? I, do. I was trying to be? <laughs> Nobody is. Well, we know how that turned out. So, um, Lassay is going to take out his, his st standard walking cane. He's going to apparate it in his hand. And he's going to try to retain as much dignity as he can. And he is going to saunter through that portal. Oh, Difficult terrain. <laughs> And the train is difficult as he saunters through that portal. And you see him vanish to the other side. Bosco. No, Desdemona. Desdemona. I did it right this time. Desdemona. Yes. yes. Yep. Um, frustrated that the, um, you know, main bad guy has gotten away. Um, but now on to more pressing issues, namely Avery unconscious on the ground. Desdemona is going to run up, um, immediately kneel down, take the board out, spell out the word spare, and cast spare the dying. You can see Avery is no longer in the throes of, uh, of his death rattles anymore, and he is safe for the time being. It is Bosco's turn. 
Wait, that was just a bonus action, right? Oh, do you have a uh, death the mouse? No, that's, that's an action. No, oh, yeah, that that, that is yeah. an action. But as a bonus action, can I look at Monsieur? He's been holding his face. You don't even need a bonus action. I know. <laughs> Wait, great <laughs> question. Because this might actually be important. Hmm. Does Witch Bolt connect like Heat Metal does? Because Heat Metal, you can still keep active on like another plane of existence. Can you keep hurting Bosco? Through the she dome. went unconscious after casting it, so she lost oh, one. Fuck yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep, forgot about that. Good call. Never mind. Sorry. Um, okay, shot. so even without a perception check, you can see some of his mask is torn. Okay. You can make a perception check if you'd like. <laughs> Do you? Do you like? I'm reaching over for my dice right now, and I am rolling my dice. I'll tell you what, do with advantage. Do I really have Don't to? Even say it's it. a natural 20. <laughs> yes. It's a natural 20 for 24. Desdemona, in this spare moment, amidst the chaos, amidst the death, amidst what is almost certainly a defeat, you glance over to Monsieur. Um, you don't see a lot of his face, but you see enough. Because you would recognize his face anywhere. I'm gonna start crying. Oh my god. Desdemona, who is this? No. <laughs> okay. The moment she recognizes who it is. <laughs> Calvin? Do you see a tinge? of recognition in his eyes, and nothing more. What are you doing? He does not respond. That's my turn. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. I am containing myself. I'm from going anywhere because I can try and grapple him next round. Are you still talking about mechanics? We're having a character <laughs> breakthrough over here. Uh, <laughs> Jeremiah, you see a very angry uh, Bosco running on fumes as he is going to so take so you cool. down with him. He probably is. Oh! You know it's a natural 19. That's going to hit. That's, that's going to take me down, I believe. I He would have to roll hilariously bad to not take you down. Not hilariously bad. And no. I'm not laughing. That is going to be 20 points of damage. <gasps> um, now, quick question. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Taking the damage. When I take damage, I get the die the will die right can i activate that to use a reaction before i go down my counter strike <laughs> absolutely that's so cool that's, that's i mean that's that's really is not this, at all how it works but it's so rad i know but it seems so good is this still with advantage or no uh yeah let's let's uh let's let's just say this is a knockdown drag out battle where everyone's throwing everything into it. Come on. Nope, both miss. Horrible, horrible rolls. Oh no. Because you know what I'm gonna have to do with the second attack, right? Uh, it was only one attack. I know. Oh, with the second attack. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, do it. I mean, he has to get me to negative 48. <laughs> Every time he hits you, you take a death save failure. I take two. Take two, at melee. Take two. <sighs> okay. You see you Bosco. Spurting with energy. You see Jeremiah in a puddle of his own blood on the floor, on his knees, defiant to the last breath, swiping at nothing. First roll is a seven. That's a miss. 
but he's running advantage. I know. Second roll is a 15. Plus that's 5. That's a 20. Yeah, that's a hit. Now, let's see how much damage, though, because this could be a, a, a full death if he oh, does enough God. damage. I was at 6, and he dealt 20. It doesn't matter. You, you can't, you're, you're just a 0. No, he might. No, 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 because if, if you if do it, it doesn't right. accumulate. He has to do it in one hit. Oh, like oh. negative hit points don't exist. Gotcha. Oh, okay, never mind that. Ooh. Yeah. Forty-eight to kill me. I he did ten damage. He rolled a <laughs> two, one, and a one, and it gets a bonus. But, but I do. Oh, it's actually nine damage, actually. I do have two failures. Oh. oh, you know how bad I wanted it just then? Pretty damn badly. <sighs> it is time. We can, we can drop pretenses, right? It's time for Maybe. Calvin Von Mahler's turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Desdemona, you're going to see Calvin. As he has it again. Oh, sorry. As he walks through the portal that he opened. As it whisks out of existence. Behind him. She's going to start crying. And then, at the end of the round, Apothecary is going to heal Jeremiah with whatever HP. It doesn't matter. So he is back on his feet. However. Yeah. What happens? Not too bad. Okay, good. You are going to see this horrible axe wound right through your shoulder. Honestly, inches to the left. If he had more energy, if he had more will to swing that axe with a bit more precision, it would have gone through your neck. But it didn't. It ran right through your shoulder blade. You see. You look down. It didn't sever any tendons. It broke some bones, but not in a terrible way. Until you get a long rest, you are going to be fighting at disadvantage with every attack. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Avery Lock. Could be worse. I rolled a, a, a two on my dice, which the lower the roll, the worse it is. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Your gun is is toast. You get up to examine it. And you don't feel as if you have the same depth of, of vision as you once had. As you take your other hand up to your face, you feel trickles of blood as you feel shards of metal wedged into the side of your face as you go up towards your eye. You feel a huge chunk of metal replacing where your eye once was. Jeremiah. I want to fucking try and kill Bosco. Take us home. Uh, so this is just regular attack, correct? Yeah, I would say that you lost advantage after after going down yeah. and coming back up. Well, with the broken arm and I'm attacking at disadvantage. Oh, sure, sure, sure. And it's straight rolls, I'm guessing. Okay. Come on, please. Please. It's so bad. Let's please. see. 18 misses. And with the sword arm. Nope, misses. I just can't fucking do it. I'm just... All right. I'm probably uh, like leaning on Bosco as this is happening. <laughs> like, just... Rowan is going to look to Bosco and he's going to say, 
well, this has simply gone on long enough. And he's going to hold a shard of Aether energy in his hands before they explode into three different missiles. Nice. As they deal... A total of 13 damage as they... into Bosco as they land into his armor and explode one after another. And you see... Bosco shudders and falls forward. And as he dies, Jeremiah, you hear in your subconscious, This is not over. As a husk of armor and battle axe lays at your feet. Hey guys, I got plate mail. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I hate you! (laughs) Okay, let's, let's do a little denouement. Shall we? Yeah, please. I want that axe. I want that armor. I want to find out what the fuck just happened. Why was your husband here? (laughs) Rowan is going to go to you, Avery. And he's going to say, This is all my fault. The star was a trap all along. It's all my fault. I thought I was three steps ahead of him, but he was... He outthought me, and now look at you. I failed you, little brother. I don't think Avery really has, like, the the energy to say much of anything. He looks to the rubble that once was the auger. And he just drops to his knees and goes, no, it's, she's gone. We've lost everything. Humanity is dead. And that is where we'll end our session. Ooh, ooh, ah. So good, so good, so good.